All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Yes, the zoo in shock. As Prime Minister Simon Eba <laughs> released this statement saying we're in talks with the USA government on Biafran liberation. Yeah, the zoo starts shaking. <laughs> the zoo starts shaking, panicking everywhere. Right now, Asorok, they are in panic. And uh, you see why all this attack coming from the zoo government. You see why all these things? Because they are seeing the support um, Prime Minister has gained uh, and the support also coming from the USA, other countries that are showing support for Biafran liberation. The Simon Eba led Biafran Republic government in Eza has said they have commenced talks with the United States government over Biafra liberation. Eba disclosed this in a statement through his official S handle on Monday. He alleged that the call for Biafra self-determination is rooted in historical grievance, economic disparity, and social political marginalization by the Nigerian government. He claimed that it was a passion for the struggle for self-rule that made over 50 million Igbos vote for the Biafran referendum. He stressed that Biafran Republic government in Eza recent consultations with USA Congress were driven by the backdrop of creating a new policy framework over Biafra. The call for Biafra self-determination is deeply rooted in historical grievances, economic disparity, and social political marginalization over struggle. Uh, marginalization. Our struggle has become <clears throat> a struggle for the survival of the Biafran people. For over 50 million Biafrans who already voted in ongoing self-referendum, the argument for leaving Nigeria is not just about identity, but survival, peace, unity, equity, and progress. My fellow Biafrans, we have seen the paradigm shift in the course of Biafran liberation as meetings and the consultations with the members of the USA Congress continue to receive its desired attention. We have taken the Biafran liberation to the global stage for the very first time since after the war. We will share with you some of the key outcomes of our recent meeting with the USA Congress men regarding the recognition of Biafran's independence. We met with the most senior Members of the USA government, including the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Mike Johnson, the third highest official of USA government, the Chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Michael McCoy, and the members of the Congress. Those members are now well educated about Biafra, and we are closely working with them to form a new Biafran policy for the USA government, which until now has not had one. For most members of the Congress we met with, this had been the first, the first time the Biafran issue had been presented to them. As such, most, much of our discussions is providing an information briefing on Biafrans, as well as the nature of the Nigerian government. We'll also discuss our activities such as the self-referendum and upcoming December 2nd declaration. The reception by which by members of the Congress to our message has been overwhelmingly positive. Not a single member of Congress we met with express support for the Nigerian government. So the main challenge currently is to fill the information gap in Washington, D.C., and to educate as many members of the Congress as possible. There were split commitment and assurance given by members of the Congress. We have met to support the Biafran cause, albeit through different expression. We are now working 
with the members of Congress on several groundbreaking initiatives which are ongoing and will be made public at the appropriate time, he stated. So you see it, my people. The whole thing is happening and uh, the support um, is coming everywhere, mainly from the USA Congress. And we said it before that for the USA government to show concern, to show support to Biafran Freedom, it means it means a lot. It means a lot. And that's the thing that is now giving the zoo government sleepless night because once they are seeing the support coming out from the USA, forget it. They know that it's, it's done deal. They know that if something is not done, that this Biafra, they will not stop it. And anyway, whether they do anything or whatever, they're not going to stop Biafra. Like I said, it's too late for them to stop the Biafra freedom because the kind of awareness that Prime Minister has created since he took charge, you know, it's something that no one can stop. It's beyond, you know, stoppable. So, right now, the zoo, they are shaking every time because the support that is coming from the USA government is too much. And they are doing everything to convince the USA government not to support the Biafran freedom, not to support Biafra. That's why you see all these things they are doing. I'm trying to you know, paint bad image of Biafrans and the Prime Minister Simon Eba. But the truth of the matter remains that these people, they know the truth. They know who is lying and they know who is telling the truth. For the Congress members to come out to support the Biafran liberation, they have studied the history. They have studied everything, what is happening and what is going on in Nigeria. They, they are not stupid. These are well-learned people that before they come out, before they come out to show support to something, they have gone through that. They have studied it. They have, you know, learned history about it before now they come out. Like I said before, this support, you've not been getting it before. You've not been getting uh, Congress members. These are Congress members, well, you know, people that are in politics in Nigeria. I mean, sorry, I say Nigeria, in USA coming out to show support it means a lot it really means a lot and that's what the zoo government are seeing and they know now no 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 this is getting out of order this is getting out of hand that this simon has you know putting biafra on top that before they drag it down before they bring it down they need to put all their manpower to make sure that they stop this biafran liberation because of the support that the biafran awareness has gained mainly from the u.s because if you're a country today fighting for independence or fighting for freedom or anything if you don't get support from usa congress members forget about it forget about it i'm telling you the truth but once you start receiving support once they start showing you even one member of the congress and we're, we're not talking about one member they're about I mean, more than 10 of them now. Almost all the congressmen now, they have, you know, come out to show their support, which you are seeing online. So for them to show support, it means a lot. And it means that we are going home. So this is where I'm going to stop. Leave your comment. Let us know what you think. Thank you. God bless you all. Bye.